much for the session. Guys, before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on my social media, it will be in the description box below. Video, give, give, give the video a big old thumbs up. I uh, really, really would appreciate it. Doesn't cost you a fucking penny, helps the channel a lot. I really would appreciate it. All right? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't cost you a fucking penny. All right, let's get to it. Beyond Raw Lit Charge Energy and Focus Energy Drink. This is the watermelon flavor. The watermelon flavor. Yay. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. The price point is at GNC for the 329 range, 350 range. Definitely an expensive energy drink. That's the price point when you buy an individual can. You might be able to get it cheaper, but that's the price point I saw. All right. Let's get into the actual label, actual. So label actual you got 10 calories here three carbs yada yada nothing crazy as far as the caffeine you have 250 milligrams for eight ounces or for 12 ounces so this is actually a 12 ounce can so you definitely get a pretty potent energy drink because uh you know most energy drinks are 16 ounces but this is 250 milligrams for 12 ounces 100 milligrams of neurofactor uh 300 milligrams of alpha gpc 1000 milligrams of tyrosine so what you have here is some focus action and 250 milligrams of caffeine all right this is um this is the watermelon flavor. They did use red number 40, so there is food coloring in here, unfortunately. I don't know why they would do that. Because if I remember correctly, the Beyond Raw Lit energy drinks they came out with uh, a couple years ago or whatever, the uh, pre-workouts, they didn't have food coloring. At least I don't think they did. Maybe they didn't. I just didn't realize it. But anyways, they need to do away with that because uh, nobody cares about colors. It's just bad for your system and everything. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. This is the watermelon flavor. Beyond Raw is fucking usually on point with all their flavors. So I have a feeling this is going to be pretty good. Here we go. Hmm. Kind of has a candy feel to me. Kind of tastes like a watermelon candy. Super sweet, super powerful with the taste again. The flavor profiles are insane. It tastes pretty close to like a Jolly Rancher watermelon, honestly. Definitely a watermelon type of taste. Honestly... Beyond Raw does really good with their flavoring. And this one is, is no different. Um, but um, what I'm thinking is that uh, this whole line has a very similar uh, sour tartness type of uh, vibe to them. Um, obviously, the, uh, the Snow Cone one is the most sour of the three, of the three flavors. Then I'd probably say the um, the gummy worm is the next one, and then this one. Or watermelon and gummy worm are pretty similar in the in the, in the tartness category. You could definitely tell they use citric acid. Yeah, it's the citric acid that's in here. I'm almost positive it's the citric acid. So, anyways. This is, uh, this is no different than the other two flavors. They knocked it out of the park. Super solid. It tastes like a watermelon candy. As far as ratings, I'm going to throw this in the, you guessed it, 9 out of 10 category. So all three of their drinks got 9 out of 10s. I think they're doing pretty good shit. Um, honestly, um, I would like to see them do the, uh, I would like to see them do less caffeine, honestly, like the 200 milligrams or maybe 150. That way you can drink more throughout the day. Um, but um, these profiles are not, honestly, for all three of them, yeah, they're 9 out of 10s. But honestly, I would never drink them every day because they're so sweet and so, like, full of flavor. It's almost too much for all three of these flavors. Like, it's they're really good. That doesn't mean I want to drink them every day, you know? Super good, though. What can I say? If you guys have tried this out, let me know the fuck you think in the comment section below. I think they knocked it out of the park. Just uh, very, very sour and, and tart, and it, and it stacks. 
you know. But uh, the snow cone one was the most, the most out of the three, for sure. So anyway, that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Everything you know is in the description box below. We're progressing and progressing on that. Check you guys later. Yay. Yeah.